Rats! There's no coal! Yeah! Burn, baby, burn! <laughs> According to the field guide, this is a fire platypus egg. Cool! That's just what my collection was missing! Oh, darn it. The egg hopped into the pipe system completely by itself. I have to get it out of there somehow. Voila, a zebra fish. According to the field guide, water platypuses hatch their young in the mouths of living zebra fish. So far, so good. According to the field now, according to the field guide, earth platypuses brood in frozen soil. So far, so good. here. Gucci goo! Well, hello! So young and already so aggressive. It may not be a water platypus, but it swims like one. Here, platy platy. Well, hello. So young and already so aggressive. Here, platy platy. Well, so young. I'll come back to it if I need a couple of ice cubes for my drink. Here, platy platy. Well, hello. So young and already so aggressive. I should be able to free it from the ice with that. Ah, cold.
Of course. Ha! I could restore the poor fish to life with a couple of targeted electric shocks. All those hours under Dr. Gizmo's defibrillator are finally paying off. Rufus, what are you doing out there? Stop that right now. The generator is beginning to overload. The energy flow is off the scale. Space is already beginning to bend. Just a second. Come on, Fishbert. Live. Live. Ha <laughs> I did it. It's alive. <laughs> Rufus, damn it. Yeah, okay. Whatever that was, it was extremely cool. But now I should make sure that the fish gets into some water. Otherwise, it won't enjoy its existence as a zombie. Hey. What's that twitching? Uh-oh, it doesn't look like Frankenfish is doing too well. But now I should make sure that the fish gets into some water. The twitching has stopped. Uh, that probably means I used to have a cool zombie pet. Of course. Ha! I could restore the poor fish to life with a couple of targeted electric shocks. All those hours under Dr. Gizmo's defibrillator are finally paying off. Rufus, what are you doing out there? Stop that right now. The generator is beginning to overload. The energy flow is off the scale. Space is already beginning to bend. Just a second. Come on, Fishbert. Live. Live. Ha <laughs> I did it. It's alive. <laughs> Rufus, damn it. Yeah, okay. Whatever that was. It was extremely cool. But now I should make sure that the fish gets into some water. Otherwise, it won't enjoy its existence as a zombie. Hang on, Frankenfish. Hang on, Frankenfish. Hey, what's that twitching? Uh-oh, it doesn't look like Frankenfish is doing too well. But now I should make sure that the fish gets into some water. It won't last long without fresh water. Why fresh water of all things? Hang on, Frankenfish. <laughs> Cute. But I should hurry. I have to take him someplace where he can brood in peace.
Hey, what's that twitching? Uh-oh, it doesn't look like Frankenfish is doing too well. But now I should make sure that the fish gets into some water. Hang on, Frankenfish. <laughs> Cute. But I should hurry. I have to take him someplace where he can brood in peace. Rufus, what are you doing? Don't try to stop me. I have to save the life of a fish. It was a brief but fulfilling existence. You worthless idiot! Remove that monster from my aquarium immediately. Come to Papa. A crank! This crankshaft without a crank was missing a crank! Rufus, you are a genius. According to the field guide, this is a flying platypus egg. Cool! That's just what my collection was missing! And they say I don't know anything about fishing. I've built a fully functional hook doohickey. Good idea. Now, I just have to fasten the end somewhere and I'll have the perfect catapult. Nothing happened.
What's that? Is that a lint trap? It seems to belong to the flagomat. Hey, just for the record, I'm not doing this to clean up here. I'm doing this to test the suction power of the handheld vacuum. Hey, there's a heap of ashes in there that I dumped into the flagomat. Maybe I can use them again. Ooh, slim pickings. I have enough lint like this on my coat. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> my platypus catapult is loaded and ready for action. Well then... Whoa! A perfect trajectory! Huh, I'm sure that can be used a second time. It should be possible to build something useful out of it. A landing net for flying platypuses? Hmm, no. Actually, yes, of course. <laughs> that looks just like the landing net from the picture in the field guide. It's a good thing I'm such a brilliant inventor. Otherwise, I would have had to practice trial and error forever. Here, platy platy, look at the yummies that Papa Rufus has. Here, platy platy. Ha! Got it. Let's go, my duck-billed friend. There's a nest to guard. <laughs> huh, it's kind of cute. Let's go, my duck-billed friend. There's a nest to guard. Welcome to Platypus Paradise. What platitudes may I offer you today? Tell me more about these greeting cards. It's poetry. Platypus poetry. So, uh, when you've got time, I'd... I'd really like you to recite some of your poetry. Well, buckle up then. Here comes the classic now. <clears throat> I am here. There are you, Platy Poo. Wow. I suddenly feel so... Inspired? Elated? Moved? Sick. Grab a bus, Platypus. Guess I will, Ducky Bill.
Let's go, my duck-billed friend. There's a nest to guard. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Let's go, my duck-billed friend. There's a nest to guard. <laughs> huh, it's kind of cute. Water platypus seems to be no longer on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> 